In this question, we're given the equation that describes a precipitation reaction, or in other words, a double replacement reaction. You can see that we've got two soluble compounds to start with that are in solution. We can see the AQ meaning aqueous. Afterwards, one of those becomes a solid and comes out of solution. The other one remains in solution as aqueous or as a dissolved um, compound in water solution. So we're going to be writing an ionic equation. So as we discussed in a previous video, when we have our compounds in solution, for example, we have HgNO3 in solution. In our beaker of water, we don't have Ag and NO3 polyatomic ions paired up like that, going around together. This is not what it looks like. Because with ionic compounds, when they dissolve, they actually dissociate. So the silver is the silver plus ion. The nitrate here is the NO3 minus ion. So actually, in our beaker of water, this looks like silver ions kind of hanging out. And then we have our nitrate ions hanging out. So even though it's a compound that was dissolved in water, it's now just its ions in the water separately. They're together, but they're not actually attached. So when we're writing an ionic equation, anything that's a ionic compound that is dissolved in water, we're going to write it as its ions instead of as a compound. So to start with, we've got silver nitrate, AgNO3. We've got two of that. And since that's dissolved in water, it's aqueous, we're going to have each of those ions separately, and they're both going to be dissolved in water as well. They're going to be aqueous. So you can see all we've done there is we split up our ionic compound into its ions. We'll do the same for strontium bromide since that's also aqueous. So the strontium and the bromine split up into their ions, and they're both aqueous since they're dissolved in water. Now, the silver bromide is a solid, a solid ionic compound. So that does have a, a kind of cohesive structure of silver and bromine ions together that are kind of interdispersed in their lattice. So that one can't be split up into its ions in the ionic equation because it's one compound that's not dissolved. So we're going to leave it in its solid form. Lastly, we've got strontium nitrate, again, aqueous. So that's going to be split up into its ions since they're aqueous. They're both dissolved in water. Okay, so we've got a complete ionic equation now that shows everything that's going on. We're eventually going to get to a net ionic equation. To do that, we need to figure out which are the spectator ions and which are the participator ions. So spectator ions are those that appear on both sides of our equation in the form of their ion. So if we have a look at our equation here, I'm looking for any ions that are on both the left and the right hand side. So I can immediately see strontium 2 plus here and strontium 2 plus there. So the strontium is a spectator ion because it doesn't actually change. It starts as a strontium 2 plus ion in aqueous solution. It ends as a strontium 2 plus ion in aqueous solution. It's not actually participated in the reaction. So that's going to be a spectator ion. We can also see that NO3 minus started in aqueous solution and ended in aqueous solution. So that's also going to be a spectator ion. That's the nitrate ion. The silver, however, started as a Ag plus ion and it ended up in this compound. So the silver ion has participated in the equation because it ends up in that different form. So that's going to be a participator. The same can be said for the bromine ion, which starts as a bromine ion and ends up as bromine in that uh, compound as a solid. So bromine is a participator as well. So finally, to find our net ionic equation, 
all we're going to do is remove the spectator ions from the equation since they don't actually add anything anyway. They're on both sides. So let's have a look through our equation and we're going to scrub out our spectator ions. So SR2 plus, I'm going to get rid of that here and I'm going to get rid of that here because that's just a spectator. I'll do the same for NO3 minus. I'm going to get rid of that here and get rid of that here. So that leaves us with silver ions in aqueous solution plus bromine ions in aqueous solution go to give silver bromide solid. So we can find that equation from our options down here. And I think it's this one here. So we can select number three from the list.